if I could go back to my younger self and like pass on this advice to her so I can just pass on this advice to him or like anyone watching, stop caring so much about what other people think about you and you care about what other people think about you. Girls from Poetess from America to Namibia with Tuna, bravo, yes sir. We just out here walking and it's a whole vibe. As y'all can see the clouds, the clouds are just amazing. Like I wait, show you guys. Whoa, look at that. Now that's amazing. The sun is really setting, so setting. we're gonna get some content yeah, we're and we're enjoying our walk. Yeah, we're gonna do a lot. We're gonna do a lot for the future too. Don't don't just think about now. Don't just think about now. We're gonna do a lot for the future and really grateful that she's here with me i have a content creator partner at hey. least yes sir and yeah let's go for the walk but, but i just want to yeah. note that even though we're doing things for the future everything begins in the now exactly so it's all about the steps and the things you do every single day that creates the future that you want to have facts that's, that's big facts <laughs> that's big facts celine that's big facts so yeah, we go for the walk and we finally show you the view. Yo, it's your boy Tuna Bravo and we're back. Yes, sir. Y'all see the view amazing. Just amazing right now. So basically, I saw this view and I'm like thinking to myself, there are actually things in life that we don't realize and it's ugh. I know the nine to five can get you busy and everything, but sometimes you gotta stop and look around and like I appreciate life. You gotta you gotta appreciate life. Like you see, take a walk, go jogging, do you like it's amazing. And don't forget, Tuna loves y'all, you know? <laughs> so, so subscribe to the YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. the girls, how it is from America to Namibia. And I just want everyone to realize that you have to live life for you. Stop living life for the people around you or wondering what they will think of you because it comes down to what you think of yourself and then you're essentially somewhat projecting it out on other people in a way based off of your perspective and the lens that you view life through. So find out the things that bring you genuine joy and the things that you love to share with the world just authentically being your true self and creating your identity don't get lost in doing what even your parents did just because that was their field it doesn't mean that it will necessarily be yours though it can be or you can you could have learned amazing traits and skills from your parents and don't don't discard them but Find out how you can take those skills and the knowledge from your parents or your elders or your siblings or those around you who, who have molded you in a way. Take the best qualities, the skills, and apply them to what you love doing and it will just make it even more beautiful. And into perspective right yeah. can i disclose your age yeah yeah you can right? so he's can. 16 yeah, and i'm 24 right exactly. so like us creating content is pretty cool because like i was also vlogging at his age you know going through almost similar youtube vibes and stuff right yeah. so i'm just like i almost see like a younger self in him that was in me and i'm like yo this this is crazy like i feel like it was just yesterday i was that age so that goes to tie back into the advice or just what i shared earlier about you know creating your identity like because if i could go back to my younger self and like pass on this advice to her so i can just pass on this advice to him or like anyone watching stop caring so much about what other people think about you and you care about what other people think about you, you know are? at my young age i'll just at my young age 
I, I'm no longer gonna feel like I'm behind in life or anything like that. And if you don't truly believe in yourself and what you're doing, you won't get far. You will not get far, I promise you. Because the amount of work I put into my YouTube channel back then and being an artist for all those years, like since practically freshman year of high school, I started making music. I started doing YouTube at 12 and this and that. Though it has a thousand subscribers, it, it was, it, it did what it did, you know? But the thing is like, I never reached the place of sufficient monetary gain. And I feel like that's what a lot of us base success off of, which, you know, we can't even be like, oh, materialistic. No, but it's true. We need money to live. We need money to buy necessities. Money is like water. It is, because water, it's it's water like isn't water. even free anymore. Exactly. So it's just like, that doesn't make you shallow. It doesn't make you a, a vain person for wanting to love your appearance, for wanting things in life. It's okay to want things. It's okay to believe in your, your dreams. And don't even allow anyone to say it's foolish. It's hard to be an artist, this and that, about Possible. anything you want. Don't listen exactly. to them. Because the same people who tell you that were the people who gave up on their dreams. Exactly. So they can't see you achieving them. But if you talk to anyone who has achieved a great amount of success, and I'm not just talking about financially, but dreams and doing things in the world and like following their, their passions and pursuing like real, real things that bring them joy and that add on to, you know, the beautiful earth here, like they will tell you to go for it, like take chances, like, I mean, be smart about it, but you know, like live life. And with that being said, I'm not gonna hold any sort of like regrets to what I did or didn't do in my past. And, and you just gotta know, like, just say to yourself, if you feel like you're going down a spiral of regret or shame or any negative feelings, like, you know, everything is always working out in my favor and what, whatever you experience is only adding on to you and it can never take away from who you are right now. And that goes into creating your identity. So don't create your identity in fear. Exactly. Don't create your identity in things you don't want. If, exactly. if something, and I know- <laughs> A lot of facts that you can even not bring. Same thing that uh, Celine Poet has said, um, don't be scared, don't be scared. Even if people be out there hating on you and be like, yo, you cannot do nothing, you whack, you do. Bruh, ignore them, bruh. Like, yeah, my days. I don't even know why you're listening to them, bruh. And yeah, build your character, what you Build your, what? Identity. Identity, like the way you want it to, not into, not in negative yeah. things. Like, imagine building your identity. No, I'm stupid. No, that's... Because it's so much deeper than being a content creator. Exactly. And as I'm um, pursuing like artist development now, as I've developed my brand and myself as an artist, yeah. I found it has to do more about developing your personal identity and then branding it. Exactly. It's not about making something that you are not and branding it. Exactly. It's about you knowing who you are and pursuing and sharing that with the world. Exactly. It's really that simple. Fact. And it's, yeah. it's so flawed because our society makes it seem like you should want to be who you are not. Exactly. That's the thing. That's the thing. You see? And yeah, I, I'm not even going to cap. I learned a lot from this. Like what she said, most of the things that she said, I just learned it. Like I ain't even going to cap, bro. But yeah it's amazing guys and trust me do whatever you want to do bro not not in that fact but bro 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 you wanna drive that bro i'm talking so much facts that i'm even getting lost <laughs> imagine it's like i know you you're saying basically like the ideas are just like coming into your head like exactly. this like and this, you're like, you're like I don't even articulate right now because i literally don't get some people you know some people like have the opportunity to do it but they just be like nah my parents are gonna think this about me so uh, like basically they're quitters you yeah know? you you just have to realize yeah the resources you have and not to take them for granted exactly and realize if you if you really do not have the resources that if you like believe strongly in what you want to do and you just keep a positive mentality and you know write down your goals your affirmations your visions of what you want 
in your life to manifest that it will come to you and you don't have to worry about how you just have to write it out you have to like it really does help and i feel like we can i don't know i don't want to group everyone with me but sometimes i can be lazy and not want to write down but it really does help Exactly and that's what I've noticed like even to do this like because it can be a lot in your brain and I feel like that can help you not only be more organized but battle procrastination so any yeah. closing closing words any closing words and I'm gonna say get rich it's money you <laughs> but are yeah, rich. you are rich so actually. just claim so your wealth because they say it starts in the mind yeah. and comes into reality. It's so. really true. As crazy as it might sound to you, if it's a new concept, it's true. Exactly. Okay, but bye! bye. bye.